Hi guys, welcome. You are on a plasma machine. And we're talking about Arclinx D. March 2021, remember the date, things have changed a bit. So there's need of a, let's make a how to install Arclinx D ISO, the last version, because there are some things that are interesting to know. We have now 40 possibilities, and I'll explain it later why we have 40 of them. Choose a disk file. Well, first, Arcanlex is here, the B is here. Mm -mm, don't have anything yet. So, one thing that has changed is Arcanlex info. We have in the downloads a second one. This is free, this is free, this is paid. You pay for it thanks to the donations, right? But let's use Belnet and Arcanlex because the bandwidth and the web space are free. So we download the version Arcanlex D, the newest one, and it is actually a copy paste from Cito. So you see up here in the ISO index HTML. And if you're longer with uh, Arcanlex, you know by now that every the week before the release, right? This is the release date. So the week before, you all get the world gets. Uh, the ISOs to beta test. So AAG, that's what it stands for, Arconlex Auditing Group. Anybody can now audit our ISOs. Hello, let's get the D ISO out, or download it, by clicking here. And then we have 30, 29 seconds, 30 seconds left. And maybe I have some coffee left as well. Hmm cold but it's coffee it's early in the morning so we gotta get uh, need to get awake need to to wake up so we have here an extra possibility an extra backup as well fail safe for our packages it is really it really is everything right it is really a copy paste for anything the repos etc etc okay so now I have my ISO What's so special? Let's go over it. Then I make a new how to install Arcanlex D. Well, first of all, let's emphasize again that there are two lines. And if there, if it's BIOS or it UEFI, it doesn't matter. It's just nicer. BIOS, I love BIOS. Nice logo. You can theme and tweak it. But in the EFI, it's just going to be three, four lines and that's it. No no niceties right but there is something similar first off always launch with line one everything works fine keep line one but if you have a bizarre computer or i don't know what issue there might be there is another line the second line is a safe graphics no mode set and it applies also to the efi so i've made one there as well so see if you can use the second line if you run into issues if you can't boot up but most of us can boot up. And then we get, that's the idea anyway for Arch Linux, a graphical installer, right? Not a Arch Linux way, that's interesting, that's fine, it's educational. That's phase five on archlinuxd.com. But this is why we make a new video. Updating the Arch Linux mirrors is important if you want to install lots of stuff during the installation, so Calamaris has internet and you want to have the fastest mirrors around. So that's the button that is gonna change that. G part, it is always a good thing to have a look what's the partitioning now. Do I wanna keep partitions and stuff? When I do I want to pre-partition already? Design it that way in G part, it, it's there, the tool is there. I don't do it, but it's there, right? Choices, freedom. That's the point of this video by far. This is all about freedom because we've launched or created a new tool an Arco Linux Calamaris tool we're missing some elements sometimes you say wouldn't it be nice if what if what if right and the what ifs well Calamaris is a, is a great tool but the development sometimes well takes its time so if we can have in the meantime a tool that we can change and adapt 
that would be great and that's how it's uh, that's how it's it was, was why it was created what the idea was behind it let's change calamars and then we have here one thing but there are so many other things in our hat uh, hat is better that um, we'll do it later on right but uh, BTRFS, XFS, JFS, Riser, X4 at this point in time we have five choices and there we go 40 choices in the end here they start you have to make a choice either this one that one that one that one that one right and um, the advice I would give you is google it <laughs> and make up your own mind because people will say Eric what's the best make up your own mind all right XFS BTRFS there are many tutorials on YouTube and I'm watching them myself right and I'm, I'm evaluating myself and there is XFF, JFS, Riser keep on reading and what I've um, what I liked very much and that might be a good idea for you as well is to do a slide share lots of knowledge for universities and, and schools and all that is there because people share their powerpoints basically and I've watched well a dozen or something like that and then you get a good idea what are the pros and the cons about X4, XFC, BTRFS, ZFS here you see some information and you the butter of S days they call it like that as well anyway make up your own mind choose and and see what you like BTRFS it might be interesting in in the sense that you can add snapshots and grub BTRFS to it and uh, time shift auto snap those three and then you have some kind of fail safe if something is wrong you can put it back if you can boot in the system you can put put the time shift to work if you can't boot in the system it's in the grub line it's in grub that you say let's go back till the last update or two three four five of days before and then you boot up again in a working system so that might sound good for you then it's ptrfs you just save here close it's done we'll still have to work about uh, with the app so it's it's it says so right but it's um a, a kickstart all right so we have arclix calamaris tool calamaris something has changed right it's it's always something in a file a gui a gui is just what it is it's just not the application it's a graphical user interface to go and change something in here what we've done and i want always to share information like that with you guys so not necessary to know it but it's interesting to know it in the partitioning.conf i don't have sublime text installed maybe i can give you a little hint dev is what we do but then you have an Azerti keyboard and then I have sublime text installed so what we've done is changed line 105 default file system type BTRFS that's all we've changed X4 to BTRFS in this particular file in that particular folder that's the GUI that's what it did or it can change it back to X4 then it's now changed back to X4 right so it's simple as that click point done and then we install calamars like usual we check a quick look here that's the version today voila next American the language you choose the language whether you want to install the Linux LTS long-term support yes or no we do not install the XF86 video um, <coughs> drivers anymore so try without it if you boot fine everything works great and video if you already know that the machine needs nvidia you can install nvidia right now right click but it's it's a choice right what you want to do it it lets me say that it's not necessary to install nvidia by default you know, i can't say it for 100 percent of course but try first without any drivers and see what you what you get then okay next and then some stuff you want or not want so this is the all freedom iso article d is like pff, you choose you're in full control because you can skip everything 
and you're in a black screen, you're pretty much very close to Arch Linux, but you had a graphical installer. And next, you choose or to install something or not, it's entirely up to you. So it is interesting to know maybe that we move to SDDM as a standard uh, display manager. It does not have issues with XF86 Video Intel and the other one Lightium does. So that's why we've made the move so less of our users end up in a black screen because they don't know they should uninstall that particular driver or install. It's, it's a world apart. Anyway, we have uh, lots of desktop to choose from. So choose your desktop. And what did I do now? Because, okay, SDM and then that, okay, fine. And then it's the applications. So you can do that later on with the scripts of your own, ArcLinuxD, the github.com, ArcLinuxD. Maybe I should show you as well. Guys, you reuse our stuff. Lots of work goes into maintaining all these websites. GitHub scripts, so Spectre WM was it? Spectre WM, here it is. So download it, put it on your own GitHub, change it again and see what it all says. It's just a simple list here. This is the list and it's going to be installed. Installing package count, package one, package two, and function install, the function is up here and it installs it with, uh, where is it? no confirm needed so it's a bit yeah like any script it grew over time it used to be pseudo pacman minus s no confirm and then we learned about functions and it was more interesting to maintain because you can change names over all these scripts which is of course important with a small team maintenance so you reuse our scripts that's my message okay and then you can install later on everything, things you like. So what we normally do is click this here. This is for the development guys, the developers and the beta testers. Stuff we want. We want to talk to you, we want to Firefox, uh, screenshots, compare, melt, whoa, all the time. Record something, we're recording right now. That's all my videos are with simple screen recorder. Don't ask, it's, that's the tool. No other tool match this, right? And then you go for next, Brussels, and then Belgium, <coughs> in my case. And here we go. One, two, three, four choices. But we had five partitioning formats. Five times four is 20. By any of these choices can be encrypted or not. So 20 times two, yes or no, true or false. That's 40 ways of creating your operating system. So that gives us a lot of freedom and a lot of testing. And that is the fun. And then we continue more with a etc. etc. Basically, I'm finished, but I wanted to show you, of course, this one as well. What does it say? It says BTRFS. And that's the first, right? That's the first. So if we uh, back up here and we do hibernate, it will be a BTRFS with a swap. Let's cancel this whole procedure just to show you if you wanna, if you think, no, I wanna do something else. First stop Calamars, go to riser, save, close, run Calamars again. We've changed that little word there in line 110 and such, right? And we go all the way back. And we see here that he's going to do it now with riser FS file system. So it's easy as that. Um, as long as you know that you need to stop Calamaris, of course, change the little the, the file there, the, the file system name, and that's it. And you can launch Calamaris again, and it's changed again. Now, 
this goes without saying, Arclinx D, there's a lot to download, so you need to have the internet, make sure you're connected with a wire, that's the easiest way, but there is, of course, the other way, and NM TUI is something you should maybe know, but there are tutorials about that, NM TUI, well, network manager, and then TUI terminal user interface, and that's that, but I am on a desktop, so, um, and in virtual box, so basically can't show you, but there are videos about it. Be connected to the internet, then you can download lots of stuff that you can here select. All right, guys, I'm out. That's what's new on Arcanlink T. It gives you lots and lots of freedom. I always feel that this D has all the possibilities for maybe a more intermediate or advanced user, but it gives you um, everything you need and you can decide to just skip everything and go with your own script. So it's total freedom. That's what this Arcmax D feels for me. All right, enjoy.